Mother was a former French national champion in cross, and his father was a multi-classics winning Dutch professional cyclist. He grew up in a cycling family, and he was exposed to the sport at a very young age. His father, Adri, was a highly respected coach and began training him when he was just a toddler. His father said, as a small child, Matthew was running around, he was playing sports. We could see from a very young age, he had a lot of natural talent and energy. Matthew was always very active and loved playing outside. He was always jumping around and climbing trees. When he started to ride a bike, we could see that he had a real gift for it, his mother said. Matthew's grandfather, Raymond Pulidor, was also a legendary cyclist, known for his numerous podium finishes in the Tour de France. Raymond was a major influence on Matthew's early career and life, and he often attended Matthew's races to support him. In an interview with Cycling News, Matthew spoke about his grandfather's influence. I think my grandfather played a big role in my love for cycling. He was always there for me, and he would take me to the races. He was always so proud of me. No matter at what. He was a great inspiration for me. In an interview with a Dutch newspaper, Adri recalls Matthew's early interest in cycling. At the age of two, he already had a bike, and at three, he wanted to join the cycling club, but they didn't want him because he was too young. Then he went to the club races, and he was always hanging around with his bike. He loved it. By the age of four, Matthew was already competing in races, and he quickly showed his natural talent for cycling. His father, Adri, a strict coach, pushed Matthew to train hard and compete at a high level. Despite his young age, Matthew quickly began to dominate the youth categories, winning numerous national and international titles. By the age of 10, he had already won more than 500 races. Matthew did not begin to focus on road racing until later in his career. Nonetheless, his early success in cyclocross helped lay the foundation for his future success as a cyclist. Matthew's maximum power output during a cyclocross race can reach over 1,500 watts. That's an incredibly high level of power and it allows him to make an explosive attack and ride at a very high tempo. In 2012, at the age of 17, Van der Poel moved up to the junior category and won his first junior race, the Junior Cyclocross World Championships. Van der Poel's success in the junior ranks quickly translated to the elite level when he won the Dutch National Road Race Championships, beating out several experienced professional cyclists. Van der Poel's versatility as a cyclist is remarkable. In addition to his success in cyclocross, he has also won several races on the road including the 2019 Amstel Gold Race. He's even competed in mountain biking, winning the European Mountain Bike Championships in 2018. Despite his success in multiple disciplines, Van der Poel remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He is known for his work ethic and his commitment to training, and he has credited his family for his success. Matthew Van der Poel's coach is Christophe de Quejo, a former professional cyclist who has worked with a number of high-level cyclists, including Tom Boonen, and Philippe Gilbert. De Kierhold has said Matthew is an exceptional talent. He's one of those riders that comes along only once in a generation. He has a unique mix of power, speed and technical skill that makes him almost unbeatable in some races. Since joining forces with De Kierhold, Van der Poel has continued to dominate in cyclocross and has also had success in road races and other disciplines. In interviews, Van der Poel has spoken highly of De Kierhold's coaching praising his attention to detail and his ability to help him optimize his training and racing strategies. De Kehol has spoken highly of Van der Poel's talent and dedication, stating that he believes the cyclist has the potential to become the greatest of all time. De Kehol says his success can be attributed to five things. A rigorous training schedule. Van der Poel trains several hours a day, six days a week, with a mix of high intensity intervals, strength work and endurance training. Number two, technical training. Cyclocross and mountain biking require a high degree of technical skill, so Van der Poel spends a lot of time working on his bike handling and technical abilities. This includes practicing balance, cornering, and handling obstacles. Three, nutrition and recovery. Van der Poel places a high importance on his nutrition and recovery and works closely with his team to ensure that he's fueling his body properly and getting enough rest and recovery. Number four, mental preparation. Van der Poel also puts a lot of emphasis on his mental preparation, using techniques like visualization and mentalization to stay focused and calm during races. Number five, constant improvement. Even when he's at the top of his game, Van der Poel is always looking for ways to improve. He works closely with his coaches and team to identify areas where he can get better, and he's always pushing himself to reach new levels of performance. Matthew has always been motivated and driven. He's always had a clear idea of what he wants to achieve, and he's worked hard to make it happen. Matthew is a very determined young man. He's always been focused on his goals. And he's always willing to put the hard work in to achieve them, Corrine said. 
I've run a bad luck. In 2023, it appears Matthew is well and truly back. A victory in Milan San Remo to repeat what his grandfather achieved 62 years ago. You couldn't write it. Overall, Van der Poel's versatility as a cyclist has been a key factor in his success. People of winning races in different disciplines and on different terrains. Matthew Van der Poel's power and athleticism are the key part of what makes him such an incredible cyclist. His ability to generate power over extended periods of time allows him to dominate races and make impressive comebacks when needed. Let me know what you think is Matthew's secret to winning races and how on earth has he won two monuments this season? Let me know down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and let me know as well what else you'd like to see on this channel. Cheers guys, bye.